Hey guys, Mark Prosser. Today, I want to talk to you about full penetration on your welds. I got some aluminum in here right now, and we're doing TIG, but this works the same for oxy fuel welding, running 6010 roots, MIG welds on butt joints. Why do you need penetration on your butt joints? And a lot of times, the keyhole technique is the way to ensure penetration without doubt. So if you look at this, I stopped this weld here. You can see the edges of this material are melted away and that's fallen down through and it's given us the penetration on the back side. So you see the full penetration on the back side. I'm gonna continue making this weld and then we're gonna do a little bit of testing and I'm gonna show you a weld that has a keyhole technique and one that doesn't. So I'll be right back. Come on over here, let me just show you what happened there. So here's our metal, right? And we've got this gap in here. And we're just gonna do a little quick diagram. What's happening here is we got our tack. And when our tungsten comes up to about here and it heats it up, it burns these edges off. And these edges just flow to the back of the puddle. They fall down, give us our penetration. Then we bring our filler in and we fill it back up. So as you're moving forward, when you're coming through this thing and you're moving forward, you want this to open up in that back of that puddle or the front of the puddle, we'll get that keyhole going like this and it'll look something like that. So you let it build up, it falls through the bottom, we add our filler and we bring it back up. If we look at it from the side, what we do is have our weld like this Here's our tungsten, and that weld falls down through and comes back up, and then we add our filler to build it up. It's a really good technique to practice. It's a little tricky at first, but if you practice it, you'll use it for all your welding on your butt joints, and you'll see why a little bit later in the video. So what we're doing is this is a vertical open root butt joint, and I want you to focus on right in front of the tungsten and see those edges moving. You know, gravity affects a little bit different in the vertical position, but this keyhole works the same way. You watch that keyhole open up, dip the filler and fill it back up. Penetration and then fill. This is another version. It looks like a vertical down well, but it's actually flat, but this is on steel. So it just gives you another visual of how this keyhole works. Look right behind the filler. You can watch it drop down and then it builds back up when I dip the filler. The tungsten is 90 degrees in the groove, straight up and down, it's pushing it through, and I'm filling it back up with the filler. So just keep practicing these keyhole techniques. They work the same on your butt joints. It's the best way to really make sure that you're getting full penetration on these welds, which is what you need. Let's go. So, we got this weld done, and I think that if you, Come in a little closer. What you can see with this is this torch, when you're doing these, and this is the same with stick or MIG, this torch, the angle's got to be straight up and down. You want to be 90 degrees, no travel, no work angles, just straight up and down. And what happens is you can watch the edges of this melt and it falls through the bottom and gives you penetration. That's what's giving you the penetration on the other side. And it's really hard to get that penetration without a keyhole technique, especially on aluminum. So, I got two welds here. Check out the first one. I mean, I think we can all agree it's a somewhat of a competent weld, but what I did was stuck these two pieces together and you see there's no root penetration. The other one, I did the same thing with a keyhole technique and we have penetration. Now the interesting thing is you can see a little bit of these missed edges here. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the vise and I'm gonna show you why this is so important. So you can see this first weld looked really good on the top side, but there's no penetration on the back. Looks good on the front, but there's nothing on the back. And you always gotta keep in mind how that weld's gonna get stressed. So if we bend it this way, there's what happens. 
I can break it off with my hand because there is no penetration on that edge or very little. When we use the keyhole technique, we can put this in here and do the same thing with it and we can bend this over. And we can just keep hammering it and it will hold together all the way through. You can see on this edge where I missed the edge a little bit and it's already starting to separate. So we've got some videos in there for you. There's a, there's a video on a uh, aluminum butt joint using a keyhole technique. And there's another one on steel. Just remember, when you're doing butt joints, you have to have full penetration. The thicker the metal, the better the penetration you need for, for strength for it. Um, take a look at the video, watch the edges and watch that keyhole form and start practicing your keyhole technique. See you next time.